Whenever we mention arthritis, arthritis is a disorder problem of your joints. You have joints in almost every part of your body. So you have joints in your neck, your neck, your spine, your hands, your elbow, your shoulder, your knee, your hip. So anywhere you have the joints, that joint can get affected. When it gets affected, you can develop arthritis. Now on your screen, there is a joint on your screen. This joint, eh, we have one bone and another bone. Where two bones meet is called a joint. And inside that joint, you have a lot of things. So look at your screen very well. Now on your screen, you can see one bone. Oh, this one is too big for you. Okay. On your screen, you can see something here. Okay. Cartilage. You can see cyanobial membrane, socket. See your joint head. So when any of these things in your joints get affected, you develop arthritis. And you can have different types of arthritis. We have so many types of arthritis. People just wake up and say, Doctor, I have arthritis. So uh and when you ask them, what type of arthritis do you have? Say, I don't know. I just know I have arthritis. Arthritis can affect children, elderly people. If you are with me, say yes, I can hear you. I want to show you another picture of a joint that has been affected by arthritis. Yes, you can see the normal joints. And you can see something here. Arthritis can affect any age, have different types of arthritis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, idiopathic juvenile arthritis, gout, ankylosing spondylitis, reactive arthritis, septic arthritis, so many types of arthritis. But in this discussion today, as I hand over to Dr. Israel, we'll just give a basic understanding of what arthritis is. One of the, one of the commonest, the most commonest of all the arthritis sometimes now, the osteoarthritis and sometimes the rheumatoid, the rheumatoid arthritis. The osteoarthritis is mainly like a, a wear and tear. Eh? So our arthritis is a form, you know, for the joint, we get some things where they cover joint and we have two bones for meat. But these two bones, not just they jump together because if they jump together and they cause pain, and be the arthritis. So what did happen is that for the head of this joint, of these bones, there are some things when you cover them. Eh? There are some things when we have to make sure, say, these bones, the rough, rough part, not the heat themselves, they are like cartilage and they cover the two heads and they, they lubricate. Also some fluid that help to lubricate those joints, eh? When they decide over the color and the over fluid. So in the long run, in the long after some long time, maybe sometimes when people will get disease state, or some people will often injure their legs or their joints before. So these things we call it reduce gradually. And when they reduce, you call expose the bone. And when the bone they meet the bone, and they cause that they cause this pain. Now, in for some, for some that but, um, autoimmune, okay, auto some immune. the immune system, that they are autoimmune uh, issue. They may say the immune system, the normal immune system of the body, they attack those. I know we have, and as they attack them, they all expose the bone to each other, and because they all jam each other. It will not become a friction. I know what friction. When you scrape iron for ground for a long time, if you touch it, you will be hot. And I say they be it means say these two bones will be uh, two solid things done down together, and then they do work. After some time, the they cause the con they cause pain. That that's just like a simple way when we fit it describe arthritis uh, thing they happen. Now, so it's it coming the signs and symptoms. What person if you think not say this will be this problem will be arthritis so so some of the signs and symptoms what person you get mostly the first one are pain and the person can have can have pain pain for the leg and also if you get the place with the red mostly for people where they fear you go notice that the feet get swelling then stiffness of that joint because you know the feet work out well with the, with the leg. So Dr. Israel now lists some of the signs and symptoms of arthritis. Um, pain 
around that joint. If you see the um, screen I shared to you before, you notice that um, somebody that has arthritis, you see the person complaining of pain around the joints. Then, next thing you can notice again is that um, that person he tell you, see, ah, that my joints don't swell up. That area where they are affected don't swell up. The joint or the joint. Some other people will tell you, say, that my joint in nothing move like how it didn't move before. It they stick. So if you look very well waiting the show for your screen, you see somebody will put in hand for a leg uh, because in the pain arm. Now remember, say we tell you, say we get different types of arthritis. Some other type of arthritis, the person can get fever. But generally, the common symptom of arthritis, where we do always notice, person will get pain, that joint will swell up, you will tell you, say, in nothing move that area. Be like, say, they stiff. Look at the, no the normal knee. And then the other one that has arthritis, gradually, this joint changes. As the joint ages, they break down gradually. And then when you start walking, you notice that, ah, I feel pain. The reason I'm showing you what is on the screen is for you to follow me and understand and have a clear picture of what we are talking about. So, osteoarthritis occurs. Number one, as you increase in age, your joints also increases in age. All the normal ligaments, the normal cartilage, gradually, gradually, they wear and tear. Okay, now look at this picture on the screen. Look at the healthy joints. Look at the space between this bone above and the bone below. Look at the one with arthritis, osteoarthritis, the space in between the bones. The space has reduced very, very well. So, this bone above and the bone below, they are now touching each other. So the bone above and the bone below, that space, that thing that protects these two bones from touching each other, what happened? They have what? Reduced in size. So the bones touch themselves. So when you walk, you feel pains in your joints. You say, ah, I'm having pains. That is one sign of that. Pain. 